Hi, my name is Jared and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video covers how to add a 3D model to your PCB footprint in SolidWorks PCB. You can see here I've got a new blank project open where I've added a PCB lib file. Uh, you can go to your PCB library tab uh, if you were to have multiple uh, components within this single library, they would be listed here. I just have this one in particular as an example. A few considerations uh, to take in SolidWorks with your 3D model. Here you can see I've got the 3D model of the component. And a couple things you'll notice, the front plane corresponds to the XY plane. SolidWorks PCB will also default to the XY plane in the 2D mode. So by making your model or the surface of the model that is going to physically touch uh, the pads, the board, etc., it is uh, a good consideration to make that particular surface correspond with the front plane again in the XY plane. Another consideration is the origin. This doesn't necessarily correspond to the origin in PCB, which you can see is the circle with the X here in the middle. However, it can make things a bit more convenient, uh, especially for visual placement purposes um, in PCB. Again, just considerations to take with the 3D model prior to attaching it to your footprint in SolidWorks PCB. Once you're ready to place your 3D body, you can navigate to the Home tab and 3D Body. Here we can choose the generic 3D model option, embed the 3D model, which will allow you to navigate to the file itself and then OK. You'll notice we then get a hovering outline of the shape of the model in 2D. There's a couple different options here. You can do a manual placement by just moving around. Again your snap settings or grid settings uh, will allow you to snap to the grid. Um, so again, depending on how finely tuned or set that is, uh, you'll get more control or, or less. Uh, we'll just go ahead and place this. If you did want to add any kind of rotation about any of the axes or a standoff height, um, maybe for components uh, such as a BGA, a ball grid array, where the bottom surface of the component itself doesn't necessarily touch the board, the actual spherical contacts. Uh, so again, just another option uh, if you do find the need for that. We'll just go ahead and cancel out of this. We've got our body placed. And you can see when you select off of it, you get more of a crosshatch covering of where the placement will be. Now the number two and number three keys on your keyboard will allow you to toggle between two and 3D modes. Again, the 3D mode uh, can be very convenient for visually inspecting placement, ensuring that pins are lining up correctly, etc. In order to rotate the model, you can do a shift right click. Holding the shift button down, if you do release the Right mouse button will maintain the orientation. And again, you can confirm the footprint and model placement. Once back in 2D, uh, again, you can continue to fine tune the placement either manually by selecting the object. and then dragging or again if you want more fine-tuned controls as far as entering values you can right click 
properties, and again, you've got your rotations about the axes and the standoff height. I hope this video has been helpful outlining how to add a 3D model to your PCB footprint in SolidWorks PCB. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.